evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are here at the Pomegranate Film Festival, also known as the Armenian Film Festival. We are here from iRadios, and we're hoping to cover this amazing event and also speak to some of the wonderful people who are here to see the movie Autobiography. Stay with us, and I hope you enjoy what we have prepared for you. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with iRadios, and here we have... Dr. Karen Kasabian. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So uh, she's uh, the main sponsor, I believe, for this movie. I am. Autobiography. So we wanted to ask her what happened. What does she? What do you think of this festival to begin with? And what happened that you decided to sponsor this movie? First of all, I love the Palm Festival. Every year it gets better and better. Um, I absolutely love coming and making sure that I have all my friends and family come. Amazing. Uh, we even sponsor as a dental clinic, so when we sponsor, I bring everybody to the gala from my <laughs> clinic because it's amazing. I That's highly very recommend nice. that you guys That's come to nice. the gala. It's awesome. Amazing. amazing. And I'm excited about this movie. It's, it's, uh, it's timely because of Aznavur's death, but okay. also because uh, I think it's going to be very interesting to watch it as an autobiography. Amazing. See how it plays out. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the movie. I will. Have thank a beautiful so day. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Welcome back. We are here at the Pomegranate Film Festival from iRadios. And today we have... Alex Kalanja. Pleasure to meet you, Alex. Right so uh, what is your role here in this film festival? So I'm a board member here. Um, I've been involved with the festival. This is about my fifth year. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I'm the director of sponsorship. So I deal with all of our sponsors. It's a completely volunteer run and volunteer funded, community funded event. So I'm sort of in charge of uh, coordinating with everyone and getting money in so we can keep doing this year. Great, amazing. Yeah. So you're basically keeping this festival running <laughs> with all of the volunteers that come in and getting all the sponsors from the outside. I'm just one of many board members and one of many volunteers. So I play a small part in in everything that is part. Amazing, amazing. And today, as I know, we have the movie Autobiography playing at the moment. Uh, do you know anything about this film? Who's the director? Can you give us a little information? Uh, yes, the director is Mark Di Domenico, who uh, I believe was a close personal friend of Charles Aznavour. So the movie itself is in French with English subtitles. Amazing. This is the premiere of the English version of the film. And it talks about his life, and it has clips from different parts of his life. So it's a very interesting movie. And tonight, generally, is about Charles Aznavour, okay. um, who passed away at, I think, 94 years old this year. He's an amazing person, he had an amazing life. So tonight is really a tribute to his life. Amazing. Well, amazing. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. Uh, looking forward to speak to you after the film as well. Have a sure. wonderful day. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back from iRadios at the Pomegranate Film Festival, and we have some of the amazing volunteers that are helping out with the event tonight, and I wanted to ask them a couple of questions. So, what's your name? My name is Eric Richardson. And uh, why are you volunteering here tonight? Uh, I volunteered last year, and I really liked my experience. And this is for me, it's like a small Oscar, so wow. it's really... And it's for a really good cause, and the movies are great. So I support, everyone should come and like, you know, support this event. Of course, of yeah. course, amazing. So how about yourself? Um, I came because usually I come to watch and I usually see people volunteering too. And like, uh, I just thought this year, why not? I come. Mm -hmm. it's good amazing. For the so, yeah. Have you ever been to any of the previous films before? Yes, I always come every year. And this year I decided to volunteer. Because I, I love the cause and I love what it stands for and everything. And I thought it would be really fun. Amazing. And what's your name? Sophia. Sophia. Amazing. All right. And how about yourself? Um, well, I'm a big fan of film. And so I thought that it was great that the community gets involved with that every year. And I thought I'd volunteer this year to help out. Amazing. And what was your name? Tony. Amazing. And you? Uh, I always like volunteering in our community. So this is very interesting because it's film and it's teenagers love Yes, of course. We all do. Yes. Um, amazing, amazing. And what was your name? Sorry, did I get Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for helping the cause and thank you for creating a beautiful night for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back from iRadios and today we have... Ida Samuel from Dirty Bomb. Amazing. So, as I know, you're the main actor in yes. this film. Do you want to tell us a little about your experience and how it was working with the crew? Yeah, uh, well, the story is an unknown story about the Holocaust about uh, all the Nazis in the last months of the war 
use a lot of Jewish prisoners to build a V2 bomb, which was the most powerful bomb back in the World War II. Mm -hmm. And they built uh, tunnels underneath the ground and forced the Jews to build the, wall, the bomb. And each prisoner got a number that was on the bomb, so when the bomb didn't explode, they knew exactly which prisoner worked on it, and they hung him next to all the other prisoners. So they'll see this is what's going to happen to them. But prisoners kept on sabotaging and kept got, getting hanged, but saved thousands and thousands of lives, and most people don't know about the story. So I didn't know personally, yeah, that's amazing. I didn't know even before. Valerie McCaffrey, who's the director of the film, she's going to mm -hmm. be here later. Uh, she's not a Jewish, but her uncle fought in the Battle of the Bulge. And he said uh, that when they were in the snow in Europe, they saw this huge bomb falling from the sky or like just staying in the snow. They didn't know like what happened to them. But only after the war, they found all these panels with all these armed bodies and they discovered the story that this Jewish prisoner sabotaged those bombs. So this is the story that we wanted to tell. Oh, that is beautiful. Horrifying, but beautiful story. I look forward to watch the movie now. So how was your experience working with the, the amazing people, the crew, the director? It was amazing. Uh, we shot in uh, Fresno in 90 degrees heat, which is like <laughs> the opposite of us, Europe in the snow. So we needed to act like it was very cold, but the crew and the cast were amazing. Everybody really wanted to tell the story in the best way they can and help each other. So it was a very smooth ride, mm -hmm. even though the obstacle with nature and the heat. But it was a great experience for me also as an actor. Amazing, we're all really glad to meet you. Thank Pleasure you to much. meet you. And you. we will watch the movie and I'm sure it's an amazing movie. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back from iRadios and today we have... It's Yama Benyamiyat. And... Uh, I'm a film director of film uh, Six Musicians and the City. Amazing. Um, which presented the, the modern image of uh, amazing capital of Armenia, Yerevan, seen by the eye of uh, six fantastic musicians. Amazing. So can you tell us a little bit about the film, um, some of the plots? Well, people who took part in this film are mostly from the city of Yerevan, uh, Jasmine Malthas. Uh, Malthas and Jovan uh, Gasparian. Well, I just told you, no. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I just arrived, arrived from New York, so I tried yeah. to balance my uh, impressions. Um, well, anyway, it's a very touching story how people survive, how people still live, how people able to be in the music, uh, passing uh, through the not easy circumstances for the last 19 years. So, this is uh, somebody called this film a modern uh, monument of uh, Yerevan. That's amazing, yeah, wow. She, uh, she's well, the best uh, characteristic I've ever heard. That's wonderful. Well, I'm very glad that we have you here tonight. So, how was the experience working with the actors, the process of shooting the movie? How was the whole experience in overall? Well, this is actually not actors. Well, we can call them actors, but this is singers mm -hmm. and uh, just players and like Artur Jan, everything because he's not just a drum player, but mm -hmm. he's also organizer of the Armenian Navy, Navy Band. Um, I mean, it was very smooth. Uh, in retrospect, when I think about this experience, which lasted for almost three years, wow. because this is a documentary and we do this for a long period of time, so it was, it was fun. Amazing. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you and we look Very forward nice to, to watch you. the movie. Thank you so yeah. much. Welcome back to iRadios. We are here at the Pomegranate Film Festival and today we have... Sona Minakian from Los Angeles. Yes, she came all the way from Los Angeles to present uh, the movie. Yes, I represent uh, the movie We Are Egyptian uh, Armenians. Uh, the director Wahid Sophie in Egypt, he couldn't uh, make it. And uh, I am here for Menk Yekibdasi, Haye Reng Filmin Hama. So what is the movie about? Can you give us a little detail? Yes, uh, the movie represents the beautiful Egyptian environment that the Armenians lived in. The film is the Gamila, the Arman Ashoha in Egypt. وفي ذكريات كتير بيمثل جيل والدي اللي جه بعد الإبادة الجماعية للأرمن في مصر وجيلي اللي تولد في مصر وتعلم في مصر والفيلم 
جزء من كياننا وذكرياتنا الجميلة الموجودة في مصر. Thank you. Thank you very much. And may I just point out, you look absolutely beautiful with all the pomegranates and your beautiful earrings. You look absolutely wonderful. It was such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Okay, so welcome back. We are back again from iRadios at the Pomegranate Film Festival. And today we have one of the founders of this film festival. So may I ask for your name? Sabaki Oya. Pleasure to join us. Thank you very much for having us. So can you please tell us a little bit about this festival and how long has it been going on? And uh, you know, what movies are you playing this year? So we are 13th year of the festival. We're presenting 52 films with 44 Canadian premieres and four world premieres. We're very excited. Over the course of 13 years, we've shown over 300 films, wow. films from uh, 35 different countries. And we're looking at setting a new festival record this year in terms of attendance, over 3,000 tickets sold. So we're delighted that you're here, you're covering us, and uh, Our pleasure. hopefully your audience at home will join us over the course of the weekend. The festival starts today until Sunday, November the 18th. Amazing. Well, certainly. It's a wonderful festival. It is my first time actually being here, but I'm quite excited. I see a lot of people here, and I know the Armenian um, community here is actually quite large. On look uh, what people think, right? It's roughly... Um, Estimates are between 25 and 30,000 Armenians in Toronto. Okay, okay. And uh, we also have a number of other films that appeal to non Armenians as well. The Armenian community and the greater Toronto community. We're presenting um, a film tomorrow called Price for Freedom, which will appeal hopefully to the Iranian community as well as the Jewish community. We also have a number of films that will appeal to the French community, especially tonight. Two films involving Charles Aznavour, yes. as well as a film we have on Friday evening at uh, the Regional Theatre called The TV Sage. Amazing. Yes, as for tomorrow's movie, I know a lot of my Persian friends who are so excited to come here and watch the movie. So it's wonderful how you have you know so many amazing movies from all different countries, and uh, people are really excited. I see a great crowd here. Thank you so much for uh, giving us your time. Our pleasure. Thank you very much. Our pleasure. Thank you. Welcome back. We are here at the Pomegranate Film Festival from I Radios, and today we have these two beautiful ladies. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, uh, Alina Sarkisian. I'm the communications director at the film festival. Amazing. And yourself? Rubina is working involved in programming. Amazing, amazing. So can you tell us a little bit about the history of the company? Sure. We actually started in 2006. So this is our 13th year. We're excited. Uh, we usually screen films from all over the world. We focus on features, documentaries, shorts, uh, giving a special focus to independent filmmakers, uh, getting premieres, lots of premieres and showing a variety of topics that relate to Armenian culture and films made by Armenians. Amazing, amazing, wonderful. And tell us about yourself and your experience in this film festival. Well, I've been with the film festival for the past five years. Wow, amazing. So it's been quite the ride. Uh, I do enjoy it very much and it's such a good uh, initiative to introduce Armenian and uh, themed or even uh, anything that has to do with Armenian roots or origins and then we truly support like talent and that has to do with film and filmmaking and cinematography. cinematography. Yeah. yeah. So amazing, uh, wonderful. What well, tell us uh, about some of the movies that are playing at the moment? Uh, tonight it's a tribute night for uh, Charles Aznavour. As we know, Charles is like uh, an Armenian icon, not only within the Armenian uh, uh, like community, but also in the world. So uh, we decided to tribute to make a tribute to him. And uh, we have two films today. Uh, one of them is um, called Charles Aznavour Autobiography, and the other one is uh, one of the movies that Charles played in back in 1960. 1960. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's called Shoot the Pla Pian Piano Player. Yes, I've and heard about it. And it's a French movie, so this year we're showing it for the first time with English subtitles. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Oh, well, anything else you want to tell us? Uh, we're excited. Like, today is special because we see sort of an Aznavur in his prime years, yes. and then the second movie is a youthful Aznavur. So I think it's a really special way to commemorate his life. It's very beautiful, yes. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a thank wonderful you. day, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back from iRadios and Comic Brand Film Festival, and today we have. Armin Polavian. Amazing. So, may I ask, you're a director, right? I am. Which movie did you direct? So, I directed the short film. Uh, it's going to be premiering on uh, Saturday. It's called Second Hand. Can you tell us a little bit about the film? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's a short film about smoking addiction, essentially. So, it's a story about a father and a son 
who obviously this, the, the father is addicted to smoking and he's trying to kind of like sneak it in um, with his son left in the car and stuff like this but his son knows what's going on so the story is about breaking this addiction but the pers from the perspective of the son. Wow, that is beautiful. It's absolutely. What? It, how, how old is the son in the scenario? Sorry, I'm just curious now. Uh, the son. Uh, when we shot the film, the actor was three, so three years old. Oh my yeah. God! Wow, that's touching. I really want to watch it now. Okay, yeah. it's amazing. So, is it your first time in the Pomegranate Film Festival? Is it the first time it's been screening in the? Um, it's my fourth time at the Pomegranate Film Festival. This is my fourth short film. Amazing. Uh, but it's the Canadian premiere of, of the film. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, is there anything else you want to tell our viewers at iRadios? Um, I'm just uh, very excited for people to see the film, uh, especially because I'm Canadian, I'm from here, so I want like, you know, like a family and friends and people who just want to meet me or learn something about the film. Yeah. Um, more than welcome, but uh, it's just a very uh, personal thing as well. I just like really want to help those people who need that little push to, you know, break yes, their do. addiction or whatever. Uh, especially from that perspective of those who love them as well. So. That's a beautiful subject. I cannot wait to watch it. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at the Pomegranate Film Festival from iRadios, and today we have... Silva Baspatria. Perfect. May I ask about your role in this film festival? I'm head of the jury. I've been coming to the Pomegranate like this since the second year it opened. Wow. So I've been very honored that they keep asking me back. It's such a pleasure to be part of this festival. Beautiful. So you just watched the movie Autobiography, I believe. What did you think? I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I particularly like the way that they intercut old archival home movies with this present day following. And the wonderful thing is we've always looked at Charles Aznavour as the most amazing. He's iconic. Not really. He's there and he's such a lovely, humble, funny, funny individual, uh, talent aside. And we learn more about his history. I had no idea that the family harbored Jews wow. during the Nazi era. You know, it, it, let, it shows that he's such a great humanitarian when it comes from the family, like most Armenians. Yes. You yeah. know, they're very caring, very family oriented. And if the family's under threat, they want to help. It was just wonderful, and all the famous people, like Ray Charles doing his songs, or Frank Sinatra, and being voted the most influential or popular entertainer of the 20th century. These are things that someone like himself certainly wouldn't talk about, as he said. Very humble. In the film, very humble. If he said you have to talk about your accomplishments, they don't become accomplishments. <laughs> So it was very, so, so I feel at the same time as a filmmaker, putting on my hat, love the film, but as an Armenian, immensely proud. Of course. And of very course. sad. Of course. Course. Very moved, very moved. That's beautiful. That's Thank beautiful. you. Thank you so much for uh, giving us your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a wonderful day. I'm grateful. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Pomegranate Film Festival, and today we have... Mary Apik. Uh, she is a producer and I wanted to ask her a little bit about uh, the movie that's going to uh, screen tomorrow. Uh, we have the picture that is going to be premiered tomorrow, uh, Price for Freedom, which is based on a book, uh, a bestseller book titled The Same by Dr. Mark ben -Huri. It's his personal story which has been translated into a motion picture. Uh, the picture has won Best Picture Award in the, Palm, in the actually Palm Beach International Film Festival oh, wow. last year. And um, we are here to, of course, present it. And uh, it's a very exciting story and, of course, um, an important story to be told on the screen, which is about the Iranian revolution in 1979 oh, and a family that is actually escaping Iran at the time of the prosecution of all kinds of different ethnicities. Yes. So, in essence, um, it's quite important to be sharing it with the world audience, a lot of details of what happened at that time and how the change of events and events and the king of Iran leaving, how, what the impact was, which actually we have seen for 40 years, the yes. residue of it in, yes. in the most horrific way. Oh yeah, well I am Persian as well, so I know the story, how it goes, and I have a lot of Persian friends that are coming here tomorrow to see the film, everyone's really excited about it. So do you want to tell us a little bit about the experience when you were shooting the film and how was the whole 
experience with the crew. We shot it in New York mostly, and um, in, um, in about a year and a half ago. And uh, the um, experience with the actors that we worked with, they were phenomenal. From uh, Sally uh, Kirkland, Academy Award nominee, Paul Trevino, oh, of who course, played the role of the king. Um, the work is fantastic. Navid Negahvan, who's playing, actually presenting the role of the doctor. Mark Ben Hurry, I'm presenting uh, uh, his mother. Bashi Mangasarian is presenting his father. Ken Davitian is just a middleman there. Uh, so we actually have three Armenians uh, in this picture. Um, but again, the experience was wonderful. It was very cold when we were shooting it, naturally. And I'm from LA, you know, I'm coming right now directly from the middle of the fire. Oh my goodness. I haven't been to my own home. I live in Calabasas and I've been in fire and in hotels no, and I don't even this. know how I arrived here really. It's just been rush 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 to get here and make sure that I am here to present the picture. And I think most importantly is that a lot of people of your generation, a lot of people of uh, even the world, my generation, they don't know the details of what happened and true. why happened and how happened. Because basically it has changed the face of the world since the revolution happened in there. And this four decades, the birth of terrorism, everything that happened, and it just changed everybody's life. That's Not true. just us as Iranians or Iranian Armenians, or uh, but just the whole world. So it's something to be shared. It's another slice of story coming from Dr. Ben Hurry's experience and his book, which was translated. And I'm so glad that Mark Ben Hurry is going to be here with us tomorrow it's a night pleasure, in, yes. in our Q and A because he's fascinating. He's like the encyclopedia <laughs> of revolution in. Iran. So, and uh, this gentleman remembers every single little detail, politically, time-wise, all that. So it's wonderful timing for the audience to ask him questions. But my own experience, I produce pictures mm -hmm. in Hollywood. In fact, I just opened another movie called Monday Nights at 7, who's what is that about? with um, uh, Academy Award nominee Edward James almost last wow. week. Wow. So that, wow. Was, that was in Los Angeles, and it was at the ARPA International Film Festival. Amazing. So it's just like, wow. I work wow. a lot and, as an actor, and, um, and uh, so I'm an award winning actress. Uh, so, uh, and I try to actually touch subjects that are more politically, more, um, uh, more social oriented, and things that are important. And to bring right? more awareness to the world. Precisely, yeah. and voice them. Like, I have a play called Beneath the Veil, which I've been traveling to Kennedy Center, Lincoln Center. It received a Critics' Choice Award. Uh, it was here at the Macmillan Theatre a few mm. years ago, which is about voices of women in the Middle East, particularly Iran. Wow. So it's like I try to create a awareness for these past four years because of my own experience uh, and generally to make sure that the world can hear that what's happening in, in the Middle East and in Iran, wow. particularly for women. Yes, no, it's, uh, it's wonderful to have someone like you who brings awareness, especially as you were saying to the generation, like my generation, we hear stories all the time. I've heard stories from, you know, my parents, my grandparents, but we don't exactly know what happened. We don't know how did it become what it is today. So my children say exactly the same thing to me. So I say, unless you actually experience it on your skin, it's because when you're born in the United States, it's completely it's a different, different world. world. And when, when, if you knew Iran at that time, it was a Paris of basically Middle East. As I've it was heard. growing fast. It was beautiful. Uh, I was a you know, very well-known Iranian actor. My mother, I'm second generation. May I ask family. your mother's name? Her name is Apik Yousefian, okay. and I'm Mary Apik, so yes. I chose her first name as my second name when I started Beautiful. in the business as a child star. So it just in, it was a different world, a world that a lot of people don't know about or they've forgotten about. Or, Particularly with the present regime, they're trying to they're trying to basically manipulate it and try to say pretend that like it never existed. Exists. Exactly. So we have a lot of archivals that we're trying to reach out uh, for, like television programming. We did films where we're hoping, praying that's still in there. Somebody yeah. saved it by the grace of God and still is there, so we can have it as a you know a part of the history of Iran to show what it was like then, as opposed to now and the tragedies that are daily happening under this fanatic, crazy regime that is running. So basically, I'm, I'm very excited about this. And I have another little movie. Yes, on what is Friday. it? Friday, it's called Pursuit. I'm only an actor in it. Oh, OK, wonderful. And that's by Annie Holloway. So we look forward to watch it. Picture, but tomorrow night is very exciting. And it's a big event. It's very. a huge event, and I'm so happy about it. It's just wonderful to be in Toronto. 
and uh, wonderful to be a part of Pomegranate Film Festival. What can I ask about an Armenian based festival? I've been in two of them in a matter of a week. Oh my god, so that's I'm wonderful. So well, it's wonderful to meet such a powerful woman like yourself. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Absolutely. And uh, I cannot wait to watch the movie tomorrow. Thank you Me so too. much. Thank you. Thank you.